Welcome to the service of carols and reading for Epiphany. In this service we give thanks for the light of Christ, which shines for all humanity. We remember the wise men from distant lands, who led by a star came to bear witness to the light of Christ. And we pray for the world which Christ came to save. Let us pray. Blessed are you, gracious God. In the darkness of the world, your light shines for all. In the face of Jesus Christ, the radiance of your glory is revealed. A Saviour is born, a Son is given to us. The Word becomes flesh. With Mary and Joseph, we give thanks. With the angels, we give you praise. With the shepherds, we rejoice. And with the Magi, we offer our worship. Christ is the King of glory, the only Son of the Eternal Father. Blessed be God forever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. I will give you as a light to the nations. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favour I have answered you. On a day of salvation I have helped you. 
I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will turn all my mountains into a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Lo, these shall come from far away, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syene. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exalt, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honour of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practises abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there any more, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light and they will reign for ever and ever.
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, Herod inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of him, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
the response to Lord of glory is, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Let us worship the Saviour with joy and make our prayer to our Heavenly Father. The Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Father, grant to Christians everywhere the spirit of adoration. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The infant Christ received gifts of gold, incense and myrrh. Father, accept the offering of our hearts and minds. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Father, grant an abundance of peace to your world. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Father, look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless and all who suffer. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Your Son shared the life of his home and family at Nazareth. Father, protect in your love our neighbours, our families and the communities of which we are a part. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Father, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds, the angels, the Magi, the Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, and all the faithful departed. In your unfailing love for us and for all people, hear and answer our prayers through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
may God the Father, who led the wise men by the shining of a star to find the Christ, the light from light, lead you also in pilgrimage to find the Lord. May God, who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness, grant us a place with the saints in light in the kingdom of his beloved Son. May the light of the glorious gospel of Christ shine in your hearts and fill your lives with his joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>